What's up everybody, it is Daydreams. Thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, please tell your clan about the channel. We do tournaments, we do live streams, we do giveaways, we do all kinds of fun things here. So, as you guys know, yesterday I switched to this deck and I'm 6-0 in the Grand Challenge, I think, or 3-0. Yeah, I'm 6-0 in the Grand Challenge with it. I haven't played yet today and normally before I do a video, I warm up a few times. But today, I was just like, you know what? I already started the Grand Challenge. And I don't want to do a game in the Grand Challenge without you guys. And I don't want to warm up on the ladder. Maybe it'd be a good idea to warm up on the ladder. You know what? I want to warm up on the ladder, but this isn't my ladder deck even. So the warm up wouldn't even be that good. This is my ladder deck because I've got the, you know, level 2 legendaries. And uh, got that level 10. I got that almost level 11. So, um, you know, I think it does better than this one where I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 five cards at tournament cap and in the other one i've got like um you know a little bit more uh but i do got the musketeer level eight here so maybe i could throw the musketeer eh, i don't think it would fit into this deck because the meg minion's just too good even at level seven i'll take it over the musketeer okay let's go and we'll just play let's just let's just play why not let's get into a battle now i'm up to seven this is like the seven win match gray wolves i've heard of them before Looks like a Turkish player. They usually attack this left tower. People have been playing that hog, that goblin barrel. The bowler should be okay against that. I think that was a value, uh, I think that was a value lightning. He just got, he got my bowler mega minion tower. I got his mega minion. You know what, I'm gonna go for the counter push. Hopefully we can do some damage to that. This would be a good time for lightning. You know what, I'm gonna let it die. I can let that die. Those skeletons aren't going to do much. Alright, that wasn't good. I let all that damage happen from that musketeer. What is it doing? What? Oh my god, it let my tower got froze. This is bad, because now he can just lightning me. Hopefully he drops a... Um, This isn't good, guys. I let that damage happen. I let, like, a thousand damage happen for no reason. I can just lightning it. So now I've got to play very cautiously. Like, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do yet. I've got to... I just feel like I've got to start a giant push. Giant bowler. I'm not going to play... Uh-oh, I played that bowler wrong. you got to play the bowler close to the giant because he's so slow. Okay, the giant's soaking up that damage. Uh, I wanted him to go that way. You know what? I don't know why I did that. I thought that he was going to drop the... He had to, that's really good. He had the lightning. Now we don't have his lightning. So now we go for the big counter push. We don't have lightning, guys. We don't have it. But we do. I kept our musketeer alive. Oh, I got the lightning there. That's alright. We got good damage coming in. Got good damage coming in. One more bull. There we go. So now he's down to, I think, um, maybe two lightnings and an arrows.
That bowler's locked onto the tower, guys. Let's just end it. Yeah, we came back. We were down big in damage. Um, you know, we just... We outplayed him a couple times there. You know, one thing that people with the spell spells do a lot is they stop doing what they did to get them to the dance. They stop playing their cards, and they're like, okay, well, I can just lightning that tower. Well, lightning a tower with six elixir and not hitting anything else on the lightning, it's not really worth it when you could have, uh, you know, done one of his musketeer minor pushes and done just fine. So we're up to seven wins, so we're guaranteed some pretty good cards. Let's see what seven wins gives you. Three epics and 33 rares, so, you know, for 100 gems, you can't beat these challenges. And I'm facing really good opponents here. It's not, I'm not facing, you know... I don't know if I want to show the giant already. You know what? Whatever. I like showing the bowler, really. Alright, he's probably playing the same deck. Probably playing the same deck. I don't want to play... Alright, now I can play the Mega Minion. We're going to trade out here. Wow, he didn't, he didn't get distracted. That annoys me big time. How did he not get... Can someone please... Please tell me how he didn't get distracted there. That musketeer really helped there. Our bowler stayed alive up. He didn't get a bull off. That was a good ice spirit there. Now we can kill that bowler, right? In case minions come out. I'll let that die. Alright. One thing we haven't used yet is our lightning, which he hasn't used yet either. So, what we're going to do this time... We're gonna save some elixir because we're gonna we're gonna be hitting that bridge right around double elixir time, so we should have some elixir. I'm gonna put this down for the hog rider. We should have some elixir this time to. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We should have some elixir to do our lightning. Oh, it's hitting my musketeer. Stop. Why is he keep hitting my musketeer? I love how the bowler pushes him into the... Go ahead and drop your Mega Minion. I can't get through him. I don't know what to do. Help me out here. Alright, we're not using our lightning. We haven't used it yet. This is going to be our push with the lightning. That cannon's really giving us trouble, right? Okay, that's good because he used his uh, he used his lightning. We're only 600 damage down, but he's got a little damage on that second tower, so. Go and drop your um, drop that mega minion.
That was bad. I did a really bad job there. We're dead here. We're only down 400 damage. Drop something else. He's doing a very good job of shielding there. Got it. I'm getting just lightning now. I gotta get a musketeer in there. And he laughs at me. I don't BM even if he BMs back. Now, if they put a BM in there that says, fuck you, you're probably like a level 11 or 12 with better cards than me, then yeah, I'll, I'll BM, but... 4,700 trophies and you're BMing someone, so... Yeah, you're a level 12, I'm a level 10, and you barely beat me with the exact same deck. We got pretty much the same deck. You're using the cannon instead of the log, so... Just, um... Yeah, you've got 48 thousand cards won in 12 wins so you know you barely beat me crucible wrath from yawa take it out stick it in your mouth and leave just the nuts hanging out all right let's get another battle sorry guys i'm a little tilted over the bming fun kittens now this guy is probably respectable see phone cats is a good dude i don't know what to play I bet he's running that hog. Don't kill my buller. Oh, that was bad. I'm over I'm over extending here. Oh no, I don't got my log. I didn't have my log ready. That was such a bad play. Now he's gonna yep, distract. Two shots. One, two. Ooh, I thought he was gonna get three. So we're tied up in damage. I mean I've got a hundred extra on him, but I think he's had an elixir. We'll find out here in a second. Okay, so he's got the lightning. So now we've got to figure out a way to s separate our cards in a way that the lightning can't get all of our cards. Wow, he wasn't distracted. And my musketeer. Oh, God. That was so bad. And I even played it on that side. Now, oh, my God. I gotta just let this push die. Let's just restart. Get arrows ready in case he plays something better. So he's got a lot of like distraction cards. Well, one good thing he had to use six elixir to stop to a uh, half dead um, bowler. Okay, now we have to save our bowler for the left side or the right side. Alright, that's I did bad there. I've got to predict. I've got to predict the, uh... Look at that, man. These cheap cards that do a really good job. Watch this. I'm ready now. Never mind. He's probably not even going to play his skeleton army. My log missed. He's got this now. Damn it! I'm... Wow, is he like BMing me now? Well played, well played, good luck. I didn't play well. And how am I doing so bad now? I was doing so good. And now I'm playing 4,700 people. 
I need to jump I need to dump trophies guys because um these guys are playing people at the top of the ladder all day which are you know not always the best players but they're generally more skilled than people I'm playing on the ladder at 3600 so I need to just drop trophies so that I can have easier challenge matches but I'm gonna post this episode anyway because uh you know I'd rather just show you some raw footage than uh cut it all up and make myself look better than I really am I mean I need to get better so my placement needs to get better I just made mistakes mistakes were made because the thing that makes me the most angry is my deck is built to beat the hog decks like all right he only got off a couple shots let's play the bowler no we can't i shouldn't even have done that i should just let it die just let it die on out get a shot at mega minion Okay, so he's got an Inferno Tower. Well, the good news is... The good news is we can Lightning it. I just hope he plays something near it. Oh man, I should have played my Bowler on the other side. I thought about that too. up in damage okay tied up in damage so giant goes left bowler goes right and we got damage on his right tower too we don't have any damage on our left so if we trade towers we're gonna be in the better giant goes left bowler goes right you know what? we're gonna play the bola maybe the giant shouldn't be in this deck what do you guys think you know what? i could lightning the hog Oh yeah, here comes like the hog in that uh... Yeah, but now I can't... Oh, that was so bad. I forgot that he's got that. So now I can't stop that Inferno Tower. something with it. That wasn't worth it for knowing. Oh, I could have got the Mega Minion too. Don't kill it. Okay, kill it. You know what? I'm not even going to play the Giant. Yes! Got it! We got it, guys! I'm gonna keep this episode going. Man, that was a close game. I can't believe I lost two in a row, and I don't think I should have lost them. Let's see what that guy was. I don't think he was as high. Yeah, he's 3,200. But he's pretty good to be up there at uh, that many trophies. That, I always have trouble with Inferno Tower, and uh, give me some tips down below, guys. I know I probably shouldn't have zapped just an Inferno. I, I shouldn't have just lightning and an inferno 
That's when I think that maybe I should have zap in for the log, but the log, I don't know. All the top players are using it, so it's got to be for something. Alright guys, let's see what we can do here. Terrible starting hand, by the way. What are you facing, the Lava Hound deck? He's gonna have more air troops to kill that bowler. I think he's playing Lava Lightning. Alright. We got good damage here. We can't complain. More Lightning decks. Okay. What are we gonna do against this Lightning? I'm gonna get a stand, by the way, guys. Oh, he's playing a bowler? Light oh, he might be playing my deck. Yeah. He probably is. Not my first uh, lightning choice, but the good thing about the bowler is that it soaks up the damage as well. And if I need to, I can play the little mega minion. Nope, I don't need to. I can just let it die. I don't think I need the lo the giant in this deck. Giant. It just seems like it's dying too much, so he just wasted one elixir, but he did stop the push, so... I don't think that was entirely bad. Is it even going to get one hit off? You know what? We got good damage there on the left side. If we just keep doing the lightning war, guys, I think we win it. Sorry about the sound cutting out. I did not need to log that. Awesome, we're hitting the tower too. We're two lightning is away, guys. Are we a log in an arrow's way or are we a lightning in an arrow's way? Yes, we got it. An almost finger match too. We're up to nine wins, boys. Let's get it. Okay, so let's see what he was playing again. 
Oh no, it wasn't a mirror match. He was playing a bowler, arrows, and um, what's it called? Tombstone. Close matches, guys. What was his uh, trophies real quick? I'd like to check that out. 33.65. So, there are a lot of good players that are around, you know. They just don't spend in the game, but they are actually better than people at 4,700. And I beat people at 4,700 all the time. It's just that, I don't know, it gets a little bit annoying. I just started the game a few months ago. Most of these people have been playing it since it came out almost a year ago. Like, 10 months. So, they've got a good, like, 6, six months or more head start on me, which is a little bit misfortunate. Level 6 Tombstone up here at 9 wins. Good for you, buddy. Alright. Gonna be playing an Expo, I think, guys. Another Expo deck. Wow, I put that giant down and got hit. I even if he just sent in a miner I'd have hit him but they're gonna get in like one shot well damn that was a lot he got the lightning on me too so now I'm gonna have to make sure to lightning him all right we're gonna outplay him on this one guys because we didn't use our lightning last time we're not gonna play the giant oh he's got the lava hound I don't know what to play here Good, he wasn't able to get our... Oh, I got arrows, why didn't I play them? Oh, that was so bad, I just wasted five elixir! Why did I do that? And I didn't even get the dragon. Oh, I thought I got the dragon. He got up a shot. We're ahead in damage, though. He's ahead in elixir by a lot. Do I even play? Yeah, I gotta play the bowler. If anything, it's gonna tank. Oh no, I could have saved those arrows and they would have worked really good on this. Oh no, I just messed up bad guys. I messed up bad. I deserve to lose. I played my Mega Minion. I was ahead in damage, guys. I could have won that. This makes me want to switch back to the Lava Hound deck, because that's how easy you can win matches with the Lava Hound. I know exactly where I messed up. You guys know exactly where I messed up. I was doing really good playing the Mega Minion and the Musketeer out of lightning range. And I just had a brain fart, and I wasn't thinking, and I put the Mega Minion and the... I put them right next to each other. It was like an obvious lightning. Oh, thank you for putting 7 Elixir right by your tower where I can get your tower plus 7 elixir, so I gave that one up. Let's go ahead and open the chest. 9 win chest. This is unfortunate, but... Oh my god. Please give me a legendary for my troubles. 11,500 gold. That'll help me upgrade my minions to level 11. Or that's one-fourth of a legendary's cost uh, in the shop. I like Ice Golem. I like Musketeer. I like Valkyrie. I need epics if I'm gonna get a, a legendary. Arrows, that's nice. I'm gonna need like uh, three or four epics right here. Alright, we're not getting a legendary. Hopefully we get the expo so I can get to level five or... I don't know, something cool. Prince. Blah. I never play Prince. 
All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys sharing the videos with your Clash Royale friends. It's going to help grow the channel. The more people that come to these live streams, the more, uh, the bigger the tournaments I'm going to be able to do. And I think I'm going to be doing a tournament here in about an hour. If you guys want to play in the tournament, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, the tumor makes the dreams work. Smash the thumbs up button, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!